Hey guys, quick video talking about the program Who Is. Now, Who Is is both a program and a protocol that can be used to query databases to find out who is the person behind a particular domain name or website. So for example, if we came into um, our browser and Googled for or searched for who is, you'll see a variety of companies who have a who is service. Uh, so we could click on them, for example, and we could type in the domain name of a website that we're interested in and the website would show us information about the people who operate the website. So if I type in example.com and I hit search, this particular website will show me information about that website. For example, it shows me the domain name. It shows me when the domain name was registered, in this case, back in 1995. It shows you who to contact in the event you need to know something about the domain name or if you need to file complaints or so on. Now, not all of these uh, who is services are free. And if you go back and look, or if you run too many of them, you'll find that they want you to either pay for it or they rate limit you to just a few queries per day. So if you're on Windows 10, you may want to consider using the who is utility that's available from Microsoft. And if we go and we search for Windows 10 who is, you'll see the first response back is who is from Windows Sys Internals, which is from the Microsoft website. If we go there, you'll see they have a download for a small zip file. I'm gonna go ahead and download this file. Then I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to extract this to a folder called who is. Uh, lastly, I'm just going to move this right to the root of my C drive just for demonstration purposes here and then go to a command prompt. Now, the way the who is command works is in the command prompt you can type who is space and then a domain name and much like NSLOOKUP, it will give you the information about that particular domain. However, instead of just giving you the IP address like NSLOOKUP does, it gives you information about who registered it. So I'll start by changing directories to the who is directory. And then in here, you can see that it has two commands, who is.exe and who is 64.exe. Uh, obviously the second one being the 64 bit version of the program. And if you're on Windows 10, that would be the uh, appropriate version to run. So we could type who is 64, in this case, Georgia Southern.edu, and it shows us the information about who is behind Georgia Southern.edu. In this case, we have an address of someone to contact, we have a phone number that we could reach out to, and we know that the name servers that are used to specify what IP address is associated with georgiasouthern.edu are these three name servers right here. And lastly, we can see that it was originally activated back in 2003 and it expires in uh, July 31st, 2020. So that's a quick introduction to the who is command, which can be run at the command prompt or you could go and look for a who is provider on the web to help you look it up through a web browser.